what's up? This is going to be a double dose rant on hate and anti video game crowd, and I got something to say about them. Well, I'll deal with them later. This will be a video response to Smash Brothers Freak 2020, aka Wooly Boy. <clears throat> and I agree with him and Westside Steve 150%. On this matter, I am beyond tired of of hate. Here's a billion dollar question. Why do we do this to each other? That's a question I like to I like to know. Why hate on each other? Oh this this black person hates this white person. Because white people have treated black people like crap ever since slavery days. <sighs> it goes beyond that. I mean, hate has been around as long as mankind existed. Do, do you remember white, um, white Americans discover, well, not discover America, white people discover America and they found American Indians and they basically kick them off their land. And I think that's where the hatred started. And it spilled over the slavery and it's been years and years and years and years and now in the 21st century it's gotten even worse. Even though we're making progress, it feels like we can do so much better. People need to just sit down and talk about things like this. And say racism needs to die. It has to. Like a former professional basketball player, Charles Barkley said, racism is like cancer. The more you don't deal with it, the bigger that cancer is going to grow to a point where it succumb to anybody. <sighs> to me, racism is like poison. It's going to affect people one by one until they succumb to it. Then we're all going to be racist to a point that we're going to be hating on each other for whatever the hell reason it may be. I mean, we're not talking about entertainment genres and, and all that crap. I'm not dealing with that right now. This is an issue that is dead serious. Because it's been bugging me for a while. I mean, ever since Barack Obama became a presidential nominee, it's like, it's like this. People who don't want to see Barack Obama become a president, they will think, they will come up with every excuse in the book to hate this guy. Oh, he doesn't care about white people. Oh, he's a socialist. Oh, he engaged with terrorists or whatever the hell it may be these people just don't want to see this man to become a president there are people out there feel that I don't know now he's a president of the United States of America, it's gotten even worse. And it, we're starting to see the true colors of those people. They'll make up, the, they'll make these nasty, smart ass comments to the point that they think it's cute to say that type of shit. And it ticks me off to no end. Ever heard of 
Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., don't you do a little bit of research? Read about him. I mean, ever heard of I Have a Dream speech? I know it's being played like a thousand times, but you know what? People need to go back, not only listen, watch, open their minds, get and try to understand where he's saying, where he's getting at. Wow. This man went through hell and back to make sure everybody is, is, is on the same boat, who gets a fair shake, especially black Americans. It's just sad that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. ain't alive to see, to, I mean, to see Barack Obama become a president of the United States of America. I think that dream that was accomplished, but there's another dream that hasn't been fulfilled. People need to love, accept each other, and leave each other be. Instead of worrying about this, oh, I hate this person based on his color of his skin or her skin or whatever, whatever the right reason to make that it is. You know, it's just, it drives me insane. I mean, discrimination, that's a problem. Sexism, that's a problem. Homophobia, that's a problem. I mean, do anybody remember Proposition 8? Now you got gay community versus African Americans, or should I say black Americans. It's sad, man. I mean, why do we... Why do we do this to each other? Why? I want to know. In my closing statements on hate, love each other, accept each other, do whatever it takes to just smash hate once and for all. If we can all come together, anything's possible. And we can blame entertainment genre all we want. It starts at home. And it's the parents' responsibility to teach the kids right from wrong. They are parents who teach their kids to hate other people. And you wonder why kids end up coming out the way they are. Why? Parents are hate, hateful. And you got parents who raise their children right. They know right from wrong. And you got kids who know common sense while the parents don't. And you got parents who know common sense but the, parent, but the kids don't. So it goes either direction. So that's it for hate. As for the video game, anti-video game crowd, I can think of three reasons why they feel that video games are just a waste of time and they hate it. One, it's popular but they can't stand it and they don't understand it. Let me tell you something. It's more than just sitting on your behind playing with a controller and wasting your day away until your eyes turn red. There's a video game built-in exercise at the gym. I used it in the past. Uh, Guitar Hill versus Rock Band. Ever heard of that? Uh, Dance Dance Revolution? Ga uh, game Pad? Or at the arcade? Number two. They like to play kids plus obesity card. I mean, kids need to be doing outdoor activities instead of more worrying about video games all the time. And I don't think junk food and video games are the cost. I feel that it's parents being too damn lazy to get off their ass and do something with their children. 
So, number three, violence. Oh, they love to play that one. Ever heard of ESRB? Why are you buying your children M-rated game? Then you pop, then they pop it in and they play and you see something that, that you don't like, you store back to the store, slam it into on the counter, and you go absolutely bonkers over it. That is your problem. You should be doing research on violent video games. Don't give me this crap about, oh, I don't have any time, I don't have time for this and that. You got time to talk to your friends. The least you can do is do research. That's what you're supposed to do. My closing statements, quit hating on video games, step away from them, and shut up. San Antonio 17 signing out. Peace.